Where's the game? Becca, thank you so much for becoming a roommate. So amazing here. Are you gonna play the new Dead Space? Yeah, not today though, but yes, I think so. Let's get smooch times too. It's not a key B. God dang, thank you. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> are, uh, <clears throat> are all of you ready for our second date? Getting smooched again. The smoochening. Also, I saw like 50 people left after we stopped watching the turtle stuff. <laughs> get out of here. It's time for dates, not turtles. We're done. <laughs> All right. Uh, I did see a comment on the last one that said I commentated too often, and it makes a lot of sense. I was very, very sleepy when I was playing that game, so my sleepiness causes me to make a lot of random jokes. So I'll try to tone it down this time so we can have a little bit more fun all around. <laughs> Marge, uh, Marie Tangway, thank you so much. Hey, OT, I love you so much. Love the positivity. All right, that was really sweet. You don't want to leave? Get out of here. <laughs> Jacob, thank you, too. You like the new egg video? I appreciate that. Thick Thulu? Oh, you remember the last video? That's amazing. So we're not doing Thick Thulu today. We're doing the yellow one. The second date. Uh, OT, you play and stream however the heck you want. Yeah, but, like, if I'm ticking everybody off by making too many jokes, you know, then... <laughs> you know, it's good to get feedback sometimes, too. Chapter 2, The King in Yellow Approaches. Yes. Very good. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most prophetic premonition of doom. I don't know why it's cut off partway at the bottom. I was wondering that last time. For wherever the lurid, lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long, wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lie echoes of decadence and disorder, the masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal parts. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where, huh? Fair enough. Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I'm having one heck of a brain fart. I can't remember the for the life of me where I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to be doing, where I am, what I'm doing. I don't know what's up. I can't read. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm 17 and I can't read. <laughs> Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I'm standing outside after all. Yeah, that's got to be it. Sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm going to be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm... Wait, six hours early for my shift? It sounds like the church's noontime bells. It's high noon? What the sun's way over here? That doesn't make a lot of sense. No way! They must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's golden hour right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work if it's not too late. And I really hoof it. <laughs> I really hoof it. <laughs> I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty. <laughs> but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh! Someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. <laughs> you are... You are very tall. Me! Huh. Hey, man! Sorry to bother you. I wouldn't... You wouldn't... You... you do, do you... Do you think... Do you... Do you have the time? Uh... Uh... Hello? Hey, uh... Hey? Uh, is this guy 
ignoring me? Okay, shut up. I see dyslexia intensifies in chat. Shut up. <laughs> and what of it? Okay, shut up. <laughs> Is this guy ignoring me? Normally, I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing the only stairway of this floor. Off this floor, in fact. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such weird vibes, I don't want him to touch me. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more so spacious. That odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny and disturbing way. Not moving at all. It's very so spacious. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotched of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Yeah, looks like he's got a bunch of blood all over him. That's a little bit spooky. Hmm. Does he even live here? This is the top floor. And I thought I met all my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for the cops to show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. A... a book? What's... <laughs> what? Ah, ah! Lanetta! But I died? The world ended! And now I remember? <laughs> the shock freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted... Oh, there's a more of them! I didn't even notice the... Ah! Whoa. I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. Oh my goodness, that is such a great use of apostrophe. Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. Oh, thank goodness. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my br... Breasts! I died! I definitely died when I performed the final ritual, so why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. Lynetta! <laughs> Lynetta! <laughs> if Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry! Come on, come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, huh? Who is this? Lynetta, uh -oh. you're trying to call. Uh... No one, my love. <laughs> uh, Missy? Well, what are you doing in my room? Normally you're my sugar mama at my job, which I... Wait, I work nights somewhere? Wait. Oh yeah, don't I work at a club? Okay, yeah, you were, you were like giving me gifts and money all the time at the club. What are you doing here? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Okay. How did you even get in here? Your window was open. No, it wasn't. Ah, no, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Uh, did we have a date? What is her deal? I knew she'd be mad that I slammed the door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Uh, yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot. My house is a lot. <laughs> Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or that my tiny room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Um, maybe? <laughs> ah, well, I, yeah, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Shakuse! How did you know? You know what this is, don't you? A book! I, I'm, a, I'm a great book identifier, and that? Hmm, that's a book. <laughs> Nailed it. It's a book! <laughs> it's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform the rituals for Lynetta. That book. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. 
the sky, a suspicious man outside. They all match Misty's book. They're all made of paper and have a binding. Is she making all of this happen? Oh, God. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? You're in my house, dude. I feel like that's reason enough. <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? No. <laughs> no, actually, I just had an internal monologue where I have no idea. I know all too well, apparently. But I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce. And if she gets it, and if she, and if, if that's, and if that, and that's if she gets it right on the first try. Uh, okay. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Yeah? Uh, okay. <laughs> Name your price. It better not be my soul. That would be really annoying. So bold. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'm pretty bold. In that case, I have three commands. You can make requests, Missy. Reese, thank you so much for gifting in five memberships. Thank you. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, <sighs> it's welcome home, Your Highness. This is game audio too low. I did ask about that earlier. Let me check. Game audio too low. It seems to be okay. No, audio audio level seems okay on my side. Uh, so if you notice, she's actually made two requests here. One that I call her something, but also that she's flipping moving in with me. When she comes home, she wants to move in. Oh, yeah. But that means... Whatever. It's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. As you wish, your highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. Your one and only. Hmm. Sure, whatever. Just play a little bit more until I'm sprinting range of the, within sprinting range of the knife. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Okay. All right. I could turn it up a little bit. Michaela McBride, thank you so much for becoming a roommate. It seems okay on my side, but let me... Or I'll adjust my audio levels in my headphones so that way it's not like blaring through my headphones as I'm listening to it. And I'll put up the game you agree a little to bit. My terms? There, is that better? <laughs> I think that's as loud as I want to go. Uh, yeah, Missy, sure. Good. Absolutely. Absolutely what? Absolutely, Your Highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. Okay, now I'm seeing that people are... <laughs> now I'm seeing that people like the audio level before. My goodness, let me, let me, I'm going to try to find a good middle ground for everybody here, okay? <laughs> let me change my level over here a little bit. I'm going to go back to the game. And I'll swipe down a little bit. Okay, 
Should be good over here, right? <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, and there's no need for any of these dreadful As spells. Fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. You just handed over a book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... Is she not here to hurt me? I'm confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. Hmm. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? I guess not. R right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. Yeah, even though we're planning on murdering her for no reason. <laughs> but something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under, under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through the locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I have just one small request first. Being? Ah, uh, yeah, being what? <laughs> Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire. What about it? Worcestershire. So, you're an eldritch god <laughs> disguised as a human? What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce Worcestershire. <laughs> it's Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Of course, of course not. not. It's an eldritch loan word. Why else would it be spelled like that? I don't know. I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Okay, I think I nailed the audio levels. Yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? Perfect. Okay, yeah, I was just triple checking the audio. Triple, quadruple checking. It sounds good now. What? Do you think <laughs> cosmic entities are attractive as a human? Heck yeah. 3D women are <laughs> 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non-Euclidean geometry are smoking. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. You can't even conceptualize them. How would you, in the 3D, witness the fourth dimension? It just doesn't make sense. Oh, <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Okay. <laughs> Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, king in yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, well, welcome into my home, I suppose. Royalty, sure. She's gorgeous, a bona fide eldritch king in my room? Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true! An eldritch royalty to boot! A king in yellow sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent cultists towards other... Uh, cult is loyal to other gods. Like Lanetta. Ah, dang! I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged fealty to another god. This reality or not? Ah, wait, sorry! <laughs> I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lanetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. Oh. Is that... Is that legal? <laughs> In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Okay. Wealth, power, whatever.
whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. Double it or give it to the next person? What do you think, everybody? <laughs> double it, give it to the next person. She promised me a smooch. Can I shall what what what? <laughs> you better give me a big ol' smooch, you said. You said. You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? No, I just wanted to make out. Just like a little <laughs> just like a I just want to make out, actually. You heard me, so you'll match her offer then? I I su suppose. <laughs> you're selling the world for then a smooch can be uh, uh, arranged no esther you said you double it where's my double smooch no way you promised to double it that's two smooches now hold on a minute yeah two of them on the lips <laughs> all right all right very well two smooches lip to lip satisfied yeah i guess so <laughs> i just Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. How would you, how would you how would you be able to sacrifice your reality and yet still enjoy these things? How would you at all be wealthy? Inordinate wealth, like if none of your other reality existed, if you had five cents in your pocket, you'd have more money than anybody else because nobody else exists and money doesn't exist at that point. So, like, what? How? What? Obviously, the only. The only logical thing you can sacrifice your reality for is obviously a smooch. I don't even know. There's like no other option. <laughs> Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... So we're going to smooch or what? She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Uh... Yes. Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. My scenes! Uh, what? What scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for The King in Yellow. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ah, you mean this spell book that I was so afraid of? Is just a dang play? Nah, I think we're getting tricked. This thing is just a playbook? the power uh, invoking rituals rituals is this some sort of peasant joke that i'm too rich to understand oh my god esther <laughs> can you chill it all jeez no we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave we have a little class to invoke my power my play must be performed perfectly all right perfectly I don't always get these rituals. Er, I mean scenes right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines? Or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. <laughs> and you'll also be killed. Oh no! Oh, uh, don't murder me! Why, 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 why have you been giving me gifts for so long if you're just gonna straight up kill me? Hmm? Gulp? <laughs> I'm getting those smooches no matter what! Break a leg, dearest. All right, Esther. All right. You could chill out, too. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. All right. We're going to find out what to do. We can't WASD this, so it's just the mouse clicks. Let's go over here. There's a bathroom. We're going to look at the mirror. We got a golden smooch on our forehead, but we are looking okay. Ah, oh, there we go. I washed all of the glitter out of my eyes, and now everything is normal. Fair enough. Uh, shower works, sink works. There's nothing else to do in here. Okay, we'll exit. Um, I'll take down the poster for now. I don't know if that's going to be relevant. Uh, that looks like a fridge. That's our lamp. <laughs> oh, our tortoise is back. We have a bunch of gear over here. So we have a mask, and then we have another mask. Going to be two different ones. Interesting. And we've got the window opener closed. Okay. Hi. Hey, Esther. Whoa. Okay. Why? Don't do that. What? Do what? What? Well, all I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. 
There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. To whom? If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to be calling you? Uh, your royal, your highness, I think? You have many options. You may call me your majesty, your grace, my king. <laughs> okay. Uh you could even call me your royal highness if you're feeling particularly subservient. Ah, uh, my goodness. Esther, Esther, Esther. No! <laughs> Stop that! Stop it! That's pretty rude. I, <laughs> why was I doing that? All right, how are you doing, buddy? How you doing? You good? Yeah, you seem to be good. Okay. Uh, let's see what our book says. Oh, there's a lot. There is so much to read. This is way more than to... Oh, God. Oh, these aren't, like, spell spells. What the heck is going... All right, you can't read the rest of it. We have homework to do now? All right, The King in Yellow. Chapter one, I suppose, or play number one or whatever. Host, click and drag the first word of the line slowly. Greetings, stranger. Fortunate fellow, tis a party for which I believe I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye, ye feel, wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost ye till. Hope for us may there be still. King enters disguised. Okay, so I have a feeling we have to wear the mask. All right, so I got the mask on. It says click and drag, click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. Did that not work? Okay, let's try that again. Greetings, strange, fortunate fellow. <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> Mortis, exactly. Meet Lynetta? That's not what we're working on. We're, we met Esther. What the fudge? Okay, all right, all right. Um, click and drag the first letter of the war slightly. Like, Greetings, stranger fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king of yellow, so come all ye till. Wear thine masks upon you for the masquerade until... Okay, so wear a mask. Got it. Got the mask on. Fill my masquerade until he may come to visit ye till. Okay, king enters disguise. Shadows lengthen. Dim, dark, and curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dimmed city of Util? Only much attention, quite unwholesome, you'll uh, you'll instill from the souls of poor Util. Why attract so much ill will? That is just what I must seek. See, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly, tis one I invite, I seek. He shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow, whose great wealth I shall accrue. When I see, when his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. King disguised! Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish. For the king is whom they shall say, which shall this city indeed smite? If he comes, ye till, and you and I will know his might. All will be lost until, uh, within a night. What reward is worth that price? Host! Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing all my friends for whom I'm proposing. <laughs> I've caused, yes, I'm prepared for this night. Their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had bought the king to us, brought the king to us. Exit host and king. Uh, don't judge me, moon. All right, let's see. Host, click and drag the first word of the line slowly. Setting exterior in view of the city. Oh, setting exterior. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, I have a door. Where's my door? How do I? Oh, door's on the other side. Hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I got this. Okay, okay. Setting exterior. Gre greetings. Hello. Ah. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, oh, yes, those are the things that were written in there. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. Only much attention, quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor you till. Why attract so much ill will? I, I don't know, man. I just work here. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. Okay, I get it now. All right, I thought I had to read all the stuff beforehand to try to figure out what the clues were, but this, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't mind this. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? I, I don't know, fam. <laughs> I'm just slowly catching up here. Uh, oh, all right, I gotta do more words. Okay, hang on, let me do more words. All right, those are the words. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Bravo! Simply splendid. Okay, thanks, Esther. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. No, 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 thank you, yes. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. <laughs> I love that. I'm a theater kid. I was in, like, one play. <laughs> Not to flex or anything. <laughs> a virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you perform Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. We'll see. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. No, I was his mom. I was Macbeth's mom, actually. <laughs> I was tree number four. Oh. I All right, fair enough. wasn't aware that was a role. It's not, Esther. It's not. But, uh, you know, all the kids got to do something. It's not. You weren't <laughs> even the leading tree? Uh, no. Oh, I was actually Macbeth. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding, actually. Teehee. Boop. I thought you said you were a tree. Esther, I was definitely kidding. Acting! Oh! Oh, you are good. <laughs> this is dumb. I love it. Whoa, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. Uh, okay. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? I have no it's idea. It's a literal rule. I, I can okay. only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. Oh, okay. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Okay. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. It also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. Oh, clever. So she can't get into my room if I close the curtains? Aw, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Well, your flashing is kind of... It's a bit much for me, actually, so get out of here. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until <laughs> then, I bid you adieu. Au revoir, mon chéri. Au revoir. Oh, oh, we got a little smooch on our, a little, a little smooch on our forehead. Look at that. We got a little, a little mwah going on. We got a little, little mwah going on. Oh, c'est très bon. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> um, um, uh, I guess so. Oh, jeez, and she's gone. I got a free trial. That's right. Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches, after all. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. 
If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again with the curtain uh, when the clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe though, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? <laughs> Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Yes, we'll see. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? I mean, I did get a smooch up there, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, uh, I don't know if I want to do the Lynetta ones. Lynetta did try to murder us a few times. I, I feel I, I want to learn all the new stuff. How do I... I don't want to do your book. How do I do the other book? <laughs> Alright, let's just go back inside. Uh, maybe we'll go look in the mirror. Uh, wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, what? Ah! 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 What was that? Okay, we don't have the kiss on our forehead. It's just us. Why are my hands all bloody? What is going on? Ah! All right. Uh, uh, God, where's the other book though? Uh, I don't want to goof this up. Uh, uh, OT, look at the chat. I am. I'm reading the chat as I play. I just don't know where the second book is. I don't want to do this one. Let Anna try to murder us. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, that didn't seem to be it. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Not in items, right? It's not. I can't just smooch right away. I don't want to, ah, oh, I don't want to do this objective. All right, whatever. It looks like we're doing both. Okay. Go inside, draw the curtains. All right, go inside, draw the curtains. What else? Turn off your bedside lamp, turn off the overhead lights. All right, so be in complete darkness. I gotcha. All right, we're in darkness now. Uh, in the light, light red fire candles. Uh-huh. Okay, red fire candles. <laughs> Oh, the XTV, thank you so much for the $2. Thank you. Uh, the dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant Lynetta Aft Fart Lepengu Nil or something. All right. We have our necklace on. I think that's all we needed, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. We're reading it. That says lamp is still on. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> that could have been real goofy. Ah, hi, Lynetta. Hello. Sorry, this is awkward. I know we're, we were kind of like dating for a minute, but um, at the end of the last game, I stuck you in my aquarium. So like, what's up? <laughs> Darling, it's you. Hi, Lynetta. Hi. It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened to me, to the world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just as I thought. Only... Why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. I literally don't know what's up, Lynetta. 
You're still here because I'm... No, I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Lynetta? Why am I still here? I'm still dreaming about you. Oh, oh my God. Don't wake up. <laughs> don't murder us. Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. Okay, listen, she did try to kill us, but she's also very sweet. <laughs> so... Uh, maybe we maybe we walk the fine line and we try to hang out with both of them. <laughs> it's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you all woke up at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. That seems like too big of a risk, Lynetta. And that could just happen at any time? What? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. 50. All right. Kelly, thank you so much for the $5. All right, Lynetta. I'm going to trust you on this one. Gilf, there's only like 50 of you in all? She probably knows Esther very closely. She probably knows Esther very closely. It's an odd. That's an odd sentence. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? I guess so. Do you know Esther? <laughs> the other one that wants to date me? <laughs> family? Do you, do you know? Oh, do, I, I asked straight up. Do you know Esther? Esther. Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Oh, flippin' record scratch. You'll never guess how I got here. <laughs> yup, that's me. Probably wondering how I got here. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> Sister? Uh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing. Oh, no! Don't, uh, have a great relationship with her? Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. Phew, good thing I washed my face. Playboy Instinct's jumping out here. If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now. <gasps> An alternate ending, maybe? Well, I still am in hot water now, actually. I've gotten involved with her sister. A messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member? I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now, even if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my butt last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the heck is wrong with me, man? Uh, island. Oh, God, my heart is pounding. This ritual will allow you to <laughs> unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person, I guess, for our hand purposes. All right, into the bathroom we go. Here, here, uh, here, here we go. <laughs> Magoka, ya la penga, la peg, peg, pegging steak. My, ah, eldritch mouth. You scream. Oh, sh oh sh Still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. I guess so. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Yeah, okay. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh no. 
No, wait. But what? What is it? <laughs> uh, nothing, Lanetta. Uh, you, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I don't know. It's for reasons. I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? You stinky, Lanetta. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? Yep, 100%. That's uh, that's why, for sure. Just a tad salty. Oh, gee. Oh, okay. Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. No peeking, but I love you. No peeking. Uh, it was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came, and I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared, and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that window never opens, ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. What do all of you want to do? Do you want to date Esther, or do you want to date Lynetta? Stay with Lynetta? I'm actually, I'm more a fan of Lynetta than I am Esther. But Esther is kind of like the new storyline. I'm seeing way more Lynettas than Esther's. I don't even think I've seen a single S tier in chat. What the heck? We're just not a fan of like all the poetry and stuff, right? I guess. <laughs> Both? Yeah, uh, alright. Alright, alright. We'll try to do we'll try to do either S tier or both. Oh! <laughs> Still worth it. <laughs> Still worth. <laughs> All right, load checkpoint. Uh, uh, oh, okay, it's one down. Eldritch Mouth. Oh, look at that. There's a couple different options. How far can it go? Pretty far. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, we'll go over to Eldritch Mouth. All right, so that's the mouth. No wait. Get in the shower. You stanky. You smell like the ocean. All right, that was a close one. All right. All right. I still don't know why it does that, but yeah, good thing we, we uh, washed off, I suppose. Okay. So we definitely want to tell her sister to, like, go away. Right? Hey, Esther! <laughs> don't do that! Again? Really? What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name. Okay, all right, all right. We heard this. Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> okay, okay. We are gonna stop that though. Uh, okay. So we've got the yellow book out. So what's this one look like? Makeup guide. Backstage in a closed room with a mirror. Prepare the host for scene two by doing the following: apply the masquerade mask to a host's face, adorn the host in elegant robes, affix a ritual knife. When all is complete, look at a mirror to ensure the costume is prepared properly. Is that all? That seems okay, right? Ah, oh, but we could just hang out with Lynetta. What's the Lynetta one? Metamorphosis. Perform the ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. Oh no! If you see or hear something strange, it's not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness and the lights or candles. Ensure their images appear in no way in poster or tapestry. Be sure to take that poster down. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so hard. Do we want Esther or do we want Lynetta? Oh. 
Yeah, we're all thinking Lynetta, right? Thick Thulu. Thick Thulu is a great reference from last time. I love that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we're thinking Lynetta, right? God, so many of you are saying Lynetta. I, I've literally only seen one person say Esther so far. Just one. Thick Thulu. Let's get some Thick Thulus in chat. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just going to have some water. Hang on a sec. <laughs> all right all right let, all right let's do let's do flipping lunetta let's go all right uh proceed in total darkness no candles or anything okay uh candles go out there we go lights are off uh next page ceremonial robe and necklace mask robe already got the necklace on i do i also have the knife do i need the knife i do need the knife always remember the second page on the previous page oh second step of the previous page the is it this one or is it this one let's remember the second step on the previous page Okay. Total darkness, I think. When all is complete, chant Hup Hup Gunsthuk Buthunk Lulzab Amgor. Hello, handsome. Hey Lanetta, what's up? My mouth. I can't move it again, just like last time. Okay, calm down, focus. If I can control my hand, then Hey. <laughs> to control your eldritch mouth so soon? I guess so. I guess we're kind of hanging out like that, eh? I'm getting the hang of it. It seems I still have my muscle memory from the last reality. That's good. Oh, oh, try saying something in Rillian. Okay. Ya Vulcan Yimg. Oh, that's so sweet. You learned to say I love you. You must have been studying, huh? I guess so. Yeah, I'm pretty fluent now, right? Mm. What? Well, in Yavulkanid, vaulting would be a dangling participle error since you started the sentence with it, yeah, instead of yeah, yeah. Oh, our, okay. <laughs> and since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. No need to be so formal with your girlfriend. <gasps> my girlfriend? Oh my goodness. I guess I still have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> yeah. I okay. How do you? Err. Damn it! It's actually really difficult to speak English through my hand. Riley and rolls off the tongue in comparison. Hand tongue, that is. How do you speak human languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you who can't communicate with them. That's fair. Hyper polyglots, so they speak a lot of languages. Really? What else do you know? English, Mandarin, Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, parcel tongue, Elvish, undercommon Swedish. <laughs> okay. Elvish, huh? Parcel tongue? What are you doing in there? Hey, you made some of those up. All languages are made up, darling. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fair enough, Lynetta. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing with you now, especially since uh you're not just trying to murder us this time. Cuz last time it was very like the 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 goal of it was definitely just to kill us. Kind of feels like we're just hanging out now. I don't mind that. I like that. We got a win a cool. No, what? Wait, Eldritch embrace. <laughs> Very spooky. <laughs> uh, oh wait. Oh, it is on the next page. So we we the breakup is ripped out. Eldritch embrace. Very spooky. Don't worry about these steps. <laughs> oh. Lynetta? Yes, darling? I'm just checking, but... You haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? <laughs> I think you know what I mean. This Eldritch Embrace spell, it looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> How strange! 
<laughs> uh huh. OMG, what would Human 1 think about OT's new girlfriend? Human 1 is in here, and I'm pretty sure Human 1 and Lynetta are dating, actually. <laughs> oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. Oh, okay. I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. Aww, what the heck? I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals, so I could spoil you a little. What the heck? Oh my gosh, she's so thoughtful. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet of you. But there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? No, there is time for breaks. What are you doing? I can't lose sight of my singular goal. Smooching ya. Oh my God, you idiot. You flipping idiot. She's like literally trying to smooch you right now. You get, oh, you're getting in your own way. I'm so mad at you right now. How do you not? Ugh. All right, whatever. Well, all right. I'll leave you to it then. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, jeez. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... Fair enough. Actually... Actually... I don't know if you can see. I actually have a Lynetta right here. The creators of this game... Um, they worked with Makeship, the same team that did like these little plushies of Human One and I, and they made a they made a Lynetta. Look, there's like there's a Lynetta right over here on the shelf. Isn't that pretty cool? I surprised Human One with that. I I ordered it ages ago. I can't zoom in unfortunately, but it's over there. Yeah, a little thick Thulu right on our shelf. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, it's neat. All right, anyways, I'll pop back into the game now. I just thought you'd all, uh, I thought you'd appreciate that. All right, there we go. You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? Of course I have. I've seen your sister. Oop, I mean. <laughs> I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Outer gods, hands with mouths. <laughs> I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. I don't know how to quantify that statement. I don't know what usual is in relation to how much strange I've seen. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? Yeah, your sister and people outside. Huh. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? No, well, I well, I mean, the whole, like, being an eldritch god, yeah, but also, like, I'm pretty sure the people outside. Uh, you know what? Just don't worry about it. I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Why is she so sweet this game? What the heck? Last time it was, she, she was like, she was like very dangerous. This time I, I don't know. She, she seems just real nice now. Oh, look at that. Don't worry about these steps. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big old hug. I love, love, love you. <laughs> Dark communion. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Okay, so we have to take off the gear that we were just wearing. And uh, say well lit. Let the room be well lit. Uh-oh. Is that well lit enough or do we have to open up the curtains too? Because this could get awkward. Have the offering on your person. Oh no, our poor little dude. Doesn't say anything about the knife, but also says don't. It doesn't, it doesn't tell us to not have the knife. <laughs> oh, no, our little tortoise friend. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to leave the knife on us. Oh, uh, whoops. We'll see what happens. I hope we don't have to open the window. Need ingredients? Do we need the milk and butter and stuff? Is that what we needed? <laughs> Delicious! Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. Aww. I'd like that. Aww. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? Yeah. I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? I think so. 
one last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. Oh, okay, cool. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Wait, no, that ends our little. Oh no, we're about to end our little session with Lynetta. No way. Oh, I did. Oh, I thought we were still going. We thought we were hanging out. Who <sighs> knew waking up could be so exhausting? No way. Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? <laughs> you know me so well. Oh. Don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Oh, yeah, because we broke up with Lynetta last time while Lynetta was sleeping. I know what you did. Uh. Because we broke up? Yeah. Don't look so surprised. <laughs> okay. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Uh, 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 uh oh oh no this is the side of Lynetta I was worried about don't think that there aren't consequences between realities darling uh, okay are you gonna kill us I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book as I'm sure you've noticed uh yeah I, I did see that uh, yep. so just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you we can keep doing this forever and ever. Okay. And ever. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Is that what you want? Can you put the lights for me again, darling? You want the dark? You want it to be dark again? Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Uh, lights off. Lights off. Candles are out. Window is open. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Get out of here. <laughs> Bye, Esther. Okay. Do we, oh, we really do only have one spell left. What the fudge? Oh, I don't want... Oh, boo. Ah, have the ritual knife on us. Yeah, I got the ritual knife. Wait, how was it as tasty as last time? She didn't even take the stuff. That's, and the dude's fine. Okay, whatever. That's so weird. Like, look at that. How do we still have the supplies? I thought Lynetta said she ate it. And then the little tortoise. The tortoise is still fine. Look at this. What the heck? Like, all right. All right, Lynetta, I guess. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's see how different we look. <laughs> Aw. Why are we all yellow still? Uh oh, I hope she doesn't notice. <laughs> All right, I want to see if we can go outside still. Oh, we can, yeah, but nothing happens out here. That's good. All right, we'll go back in. Uh, where did... Where did Lynetta go? Lynetta's not in bed anymore. Did I goof up? Lynetta in the bathroom? Lynetta? <laughs> uh... Okay, we're doing the chanting. Oops, sorry, too fast. Oh, one. <laughs> Try again. Two. Three. Four! Oh, last one! Or right, let's find out if we get our smooch or not. Wait! I need to talk to you first. Okay. Are you gonna try to murder us again or not murder us? Yeah, what is it? What if... Yeah? What if we didn't complete the final ritual? Oh. <laughs> what if I stayed to sleep longer? So we could have a little more time together. Oh. Oh. Just you and me, lingering in a doomed world alone, like an endless dream come true. Oh. Doesn't that sound nice? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Lynetta. Let's go on more dates. What the fudge? Let's do it. That's real sweet. It does sound nice. Oh. Oh, did I accidentally do it? Did I just do it? Wait, no! 
What the fudge? We were finally going to be together forever! What did I do? We would have been so happy! What did I do? This reality is doomed. You said it once. The dream has to end eventually. What? If you keep a dream going on forever, it has to become a nightmare eventually, or worse, it becomes a reality. What? Take a look at the world around us and take a good look at me. Is this what you want a reality to be like? What? <laughs> of course not. My, my, uh, my dream of being with you forever. Oh. Can never come true. What? The fudge. The dude didn't even take her out on one date. I don't know who this guy is, but he's literally the worst. I am so upset by this information. How could you possibly do this to Lynetta? How could... <sighs> I know I don't need to be upset right now, but I'm, I'm legitimately... <laughs> Not even a single... We couldn't be happy for just one moment. Lynetta was right there, literally a dream person. All we wanted was a smooch. We could have hung out with Lynetta forever. We could have got a billion smooches. What is up with this dating game? What? We can be together for a short time forever. What? But I'm not ready to say goodbye again. Why can't we just stay for good? I don't know. Why can our time together only be brief meetings and long farewells? I don't know, Lynetta. I have no idea what's going on. What if we're saying goodbye forever? I don't know why I'm agreeing with you right now. I have no idea. If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this goodbye this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. <laughs> what is going on? I'll be right back. Darling, thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. My darling looks like this. <laughs> Remember that when you dream to see him again. Okay. What? What 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 is what is going on? There were more things? I can go back to the Dark Communion. If we go to Final Pledge, there's three more... There's two more endings here. If I go over here, I can hook up with... Oh, sorry, not... not... Well, no, no, sorry. Lynette, I'm sorry. No, Lynette, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't, Lynette. We can't hang out for a minute. I'm sorry. I know. You already... I broke your heart. You broke my heart. Just give me a second. Okay, so I have to go back one step to Eldritch Mouth. Eldritch Mouth, you scree! Okay. All right, excuse me, Lynetta. Go enjoy your shower. I need to go talk to your sister. Nope. <laughs> All right, bye, Lynetta. All right. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make sure absolutely that that window never opens again ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. All right, now we got to go hang out with the sister, I guess. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yes, dear. What's up? Nothing's, nothing's going on over here, yes, dear. Don't go to the bathroom, okay? Don't go over there. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, pink book. No, it was yellow this whole time, actually. Uh, don't know what you were thinking about. 
All right, masquerade mask, elegant robes, and ritual knife. Uh, okay, just need the robes, and it says go to the bathroom to check it out. Chris Morgan, thank you so much for becoming a roommate. Oh, yeah, look at my outfit. All right, let's go back. When all is complete, look at a mirror to ensure the costume is prepared properly. Okay, masquerade mask, elegant robes, ritual knife. I'm still wearing the amulet. That's probably not what I want to do, right? Okay. Looks good. Masquerade mask. Elegant robes. Ritual knife. Yeah. Look in a mirror. Look in mirror. Oh, check the mirror. Oh, I don't know why I'm bleeding already. All right, looks good. Everything is in its place. I feel all gussied up, even for me. This outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Lynetta is showering in here, I better meet with Estir in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me and... I already know what you're going to say, your highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Okay. All right. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to my face to fit perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow! It really won't come off. Uh, <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. Yeah, does that mean I'm dying then? Rude. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. I guess then okay this surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant correct i guess i can't even blink anymore my eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes the mask and your face have become one your every pore is now gilt and gold uh, i guess so <laughs> this is what do i have to wear this to work wait what? Do I have to wear this to work? When I see my family? When I see Lynetta? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Those strange people outside, they all had masks to suck to, uh, stuck to them, too. Wait, masks suck to them, too. Had masks suck to them, too. Okay, I didn't read that wrong. Are they past followers who became s -tier servants? I guess so. Is that going to be my fate? Yup. <laughs> Ah, jeez. All right, so we did the thingy. All right, setting interior, well lit. All right, let's get some lights on. Windows open, got some candles on. Okay, cool. Welcome, company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish to this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before <laughs> you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Oh, okay. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. <laughs> I'll be yours once he arrives. Oh, okay. Yes, until... Oh! Okay, whoops. <laughs> uh, that was a whoops. That was a whoopsie. Okay, we'll try that again. All right, Lynetta. All right, bye, Lynetta. Okay, okay, yep, s -tier's coming in. We got to get the place up. Ah, hi, Esther. Yeah, I, oh, mask is on my face now. Thank you. I'm going to go read your book. 
Thanks, S tier. Okay. Got the light on. It's well lit. Windows open. We open the book. Uh, we've got all of our stuff on, which is good. We've oh! All right, everybody, shut up. Don't say a thing. Don't say a gat dang thing in chat. Don't be like, hey, OT, you died. Don't do it. Don't say a thing. Don't even joke about this. I am upset. I'm upset right now. <laughs> Stop saying stuff in chat. All right, skip, 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 skip. Okay. <laughs> Molly, thank you so much. All right, let's get the light on. Okay, all of you that are saying stuff in chat right now, I'm gonna remember your names and your faces. You're in so much trouble. <laughs> I was killed by a fart? I guess so. All right. Reading more slowly this time. Much more slowly. All right. And we heard your part a moment ago, S tier. All right, here's the book. We're going to line number two. Now can't go too fast. Here we go. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. We be graciously obeisant, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who live in doomed Yatil will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. It's very creative. I performance dearest bravissimo okay you're welcome thank you there's only one more scene to reenact and then this world will be mine oh, okay i probably should have asked before we got to the final act but this play isn't a tragedy right no it's not the ending is actually quite hilarious ah very shakespearean Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Oh, uh-oh. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Okay. Wait, my character dies? I'm gonna die? I thought you just said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Okay. <laughs> uh-oh. You watched at 1.7 times, finally caught up, loving the stream. Lol, comment entertaining by itself. Okay, I'm glad that you're having a good time here. I did not expect us to die so soon. That's kind of a surprise to me. Uh-oh. All right, I'm slowly running out of water. I might have to get another drink soon. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? She's outright stating it, my friend. It's not an implication. I get that she I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her. Morals apply to her. But that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry. I don't wanna die again. I anticipated that <laughs> you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. Then why did you hide it, Esther? Not cool. My wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. Ah! F you, S dear. F you! Ah. 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 Uh... Hey, Lynetta? <laughs> you done in the shower? Do you want to... No, come talk to your si... Uh, wait, your sister left. Oh, she's back. Do you want to come talk to your sister? Uh... Yeah, I very much do prefer Lynetta right now. Very much so. 
All right. Uh, so that's the last one. Food preparation guide. Prepare for the scene by doing the following. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. Light red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Okay. Red fire candles. We have the food. Do not make a mistake. Or a hungry, uninvited guest may arrive. Chant. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. <laughs> Stop. I don't know why they keep thinking like raw milk and raw butter is a whole meal. The room is filled with the mouth mouth-watering aroma of the perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved in here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Estir is strutting towards my bed. Ah, uh, okay. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I don't know what the implication of this is, Estir. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Ah! Don't mind if I do! Feast, you'll feed it to me. Okay. What was that? You sounded like the groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? Oh, they're jealous. If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Estir's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for a chance to spend any time with Estir. Hmm. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Oh, heck no, like 30. It's like sandpaper in there. Silk? My blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. <laughs> You're such a princess. What the fudge? So picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes? Something that'll feed her princess complex? Uh, <laughs> uh, num. Okay. Ah! <laughs> uh, how did I turn? How did I turn my food in cold storage? The raw milk and raw butter. How did I turn those into grapes? Legitimately. Huh? <laughs> What's going on here? I've got questions. I'm glad. Another. <sighs> okay, here comes the aeroplane nest here. Hey, think I could have one of those? These? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Uh, fam, I've kind of run out of the thought that I might want to kiss from you, actually. I'm kind of done with you. I want to hang out with Lynetta. <laughs> oh, yeah? So you won't eat anything my lips have even touched either? Of course not. Aha! Then loophole, I'm going to eat everything in front of you. Get wrecked. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. Oh, <laughs> well, get wrecked. I'm going to take a bite myself. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. <laughs> you just made it yourself. What the fuck? Connor, son of wolf. Thank you, so, thank you so much for becoming a roommate. Welcome in. Hi. Let me try. Uh, Estir, sorry, but you're not going to get an indirect kiss from me that easily. You're going to have to, you got to plan that for your, you got to try harder than that, Estir. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Wrecked. Gave myself a headache. <laughs> Lyrical miracle. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for becoming a roommate again. All right, here we go. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? Ooh. Ooh. I, I don't want it after all. Oh, you're so spoiled, Estir. Oh, my goodness. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I could have some now, right? Hey, hold on. Mmm, <laughs> it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of Eldritch Magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. 
What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss. <laughs> Give me the cream puff. What was that? <laughs> I order you to hand over the cream puff. Uh huh, Esther. Uh huh. You, uh, oh, boop, 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 boop. you think you can do that, princess? Boop, 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 boop. Very well, my king. Oh, never mind. I could be ordered quite easily. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead. Uh, instead what? I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Okay. It really is delightful. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. That was that was uh, that was a little bit too flirty for me. Oh my goodness. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. Aw. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my backs. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. <laughs> Very well. Let us resume the play. All right. Let us resume the play. A very nervous system says, I am watching this in front of my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> there, how's that? <laughs> All right, Estia, we're going to do the play now. Let's find out. Oh, we've got a couple more pages with you. Don't look at me, Moon. All right, so that's the that's the new one, right? Number three. I think it is number three. There's nothing more we have to do for the banquet, is there? No, it's just put all the stuff together. Okay. Uh, setting, interior, no light besides open window. Okay. All right, no light besides open window. Very good. Damn the night. Okay. Uh, robes and mask. I have robes and mask on. Okay, let's do it. Damn the night and moral scornful. Wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitious and for, un for ambitions unfulfilled, unfulfilled? Oh my goodness, it is difficult for me to read today. <laughs> After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. It's very, uh, it's very lyrical. It reminds me a lot of Shakespearean plays. Alright, let's go for it. Let's read the rest. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me for bemusement, though I'm what? Though wast hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Ah, okay. Go, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on your tail, and whose shadow you're in still. Dark as death is now your tail. Wait, what the fudge? What happened to your dress? Why is there a skull speared on it? What is what is going on? I didn't notice that until just now. There's a nightmare happening underneath her. What? That's a little oh dear. Why are we doing ones and twos in chat right now? What are we all up to? Are you causing trouble? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Okay, I don't know why you're doing that. Uh. 
Ugh, draw thy blade from mine. Contusion, my life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you are truly the king. Oh my gosh, Anya Lenore, thank you so much for upgrading your membership. Thank you. Why are y'all putting numbers in chat? It's bullying. <laughs> this is bullying. What is happening? Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes. I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. What is... Why do you have like a, a, a war chariot under your dress? And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. Okay. Is my life going to be really short like you mentioned earlier? Why are you covered in blood now? And the strong will fall to illness, haunt your tail with crypt-like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your tail. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still, he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of your till. Wales, unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. Okay. <laughs> okay, Esther. That your invitation's quill brought the king to black your till. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're all too kind. Okay. <laughs> Listen to that applause, dearest. You made it up. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Yeah, I screwed up multiple times. What are you talking about? I goofed up my lines all over the place. Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Frantic, frantical revel, revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? For what, though? Why? Why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. Did you stab me? My blood streams from a gaping wound to my chest. My abdomen, my abdomen is unseamed. What? To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. You thought I'd remember my lines better if you stabbed me? You do not. This is not. You, you are strange. <laughs> oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls and the show begins. Okay. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Uh-huh. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Ah, uh, two smooches, actually, yes, dear. You mean the smooches you promised? Plural, you said you'd give me two. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying right now. An eldritch god stabbed me, and I'm arguing about whether or not I'm going to get two kisses or one. Even now, that's really all you can think about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair enough, Esther. I was surprised, too. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. Yep. These are all the things that I just said. <laughs> you're worried about smooches? Sure am. I'm, uh, I'm very into smooching, apparently. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. I guess so, hey? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Lynetta? Uh, I can't open the shower because you're still do you're still just hanging out in there, so I can't really do anything, Lynetta. But if you could come out here, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's open up the book. Let's see what's going on. We still, have, uh, we still have a number of pages left, so there could be more stuff coming. All right. Um, that, that word is behind the menu option. I don't know what that means. Host expires, last first kills, king exits, recast the role of house, host, and begin to play anew. Oh, my gosh. So that was the end of that part then. Okay. So then now we're on to the yellow sign. 
The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play of the king in yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with a king for court and Carcosa. This insane obsession persists after death. Continue on next page. I actually want to check the mirror because we got stabbed in the chest a minute ago. Okay, no, it's just the blood from the mask so far. Can we wash? It got worse. <laughs> oh no, it got worse. Oh no. So I can't take off the mask? Yeah, I'm permanent stuck there. I don't want to deal with the food anymore. All right, get out of here. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light the black fire candles. Uh, lights off? Yep. Black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw this shape below without the X. Ah, all right. Behold the yellow <laughs> sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Okay. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. One second, S tier, because I saw in chat Effie's kid is gonna have a birthday? AOT, hey, I gotta go in a minute. Is there any chance you can say happy birthday to my kid? They turn 11 tomorrow and they're a huge fan of yours. Happy birthday, F Effie's kid. If you're still here, Effie. I don't know if you left. Someone else copied your message over. If you're still here, happy birthday, Effie's kid. Can we get some happy, happy birthdays in chat? <laughs> Let's go. Happy birthday. That's wild. Why are there two generations of people watching me? Get out of here. <laughs> Relationships. Relationships. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. Uh-oh. What? Why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your uh, relationship with my sister was one of those things. Oh, rude. That's the only reason you wanted to hang out with us? That's so rude. Oh, what the fudge. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lanetta, gone in an instant. I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. I suppose so. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I, I guess you kind of suck then. You were too late. All of your plans got foiled and you tried to recruit me, but you ended up killing me. I don't know. It kind of seems like you're not, you're not real good at this S tier. S tier? More like D tier. Or F, F tier. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> but in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Oh, no. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Uh. Oh, the husks. They're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes, just like me. All oh, these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. Give me my smooches, S dear. No, I mean, why? Why are they still here? Aren't they kind of like third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? Yeah, huh? Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? You kind of, I don't know, fam. You're like assuming you've got way more power than you do, I think. Like these guys? Bunch of softies out here. Bunch of simp softies. Me? I'm like, okay, yeah, where are my smooches? But, like, other than that, like, I don't know what you want. Because I don't want... Like, we, we could hang, I guess. We could be friends, but, you know. <laughs> you're not super chill, so, like, I don't know if I'll hang out that much. Were you... 
unaffected? I guess so. Did, did the spell fail? I, I think so. Yeah. I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. Nah. Ah, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Nah, I don't think so, Esther. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about <laughs> marriage. <laughs> I think you are. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim. Nah. Anticipating my every desire. Nah, equal partnership. And solely to please me. <laughs> nah, you want me to be your husband. Get wrecked. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. No, I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. Literally marriage. A servitude unlike anything on earth where you never so much as think of anyone else. Nah, I don't know. No, we have that on earth and it's called marriage. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's too. How so? No freedom! Forever! You are only permitted to do as I say! Okay. Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. <laughs> You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Uh-huh. Until death do us part, even. Exactly! Uh oh, oh, got ya! Oh, yes, dear. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing marriage. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. Dearest? Y yes, I am your dearest, yes. <gasps> what? Did we just steal a kiss? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, that that flipped the script quite a bit, actually. Oh man, wow, we, wow, wow, we, wow, oh wow. Y you shouldn't. Ah, we're married now. I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. Nah, fam, I can bail on you. I can go back to Lynetta. I feel like Lynetta, Lynetta would be pretty chill. I preferred you from the beginning. Oh, that's rude. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Oh, that is true. We did do the breakup spell. Why are you being so persistent? I don't know. You can't really want to marry me that badly. I don't think so. <laughs> You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Um, probably. I don't know what our character's motivation is, actually. Seems kind of a weird one. Save it for our wedding day. What? Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? I, I guess we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was serious. Oh, and they got married. What is this game? <laughs> I I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> yeah, she seems very surprised that they're getting married. Again, I don't know what exactly that war machine was that was under her dress with all of the disembodied skulls and spikes and there was blood and stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pursue that, but good luck. Hope it was worth it. Lynetta was clearly the one that was better for you. I don't know why we ended up choosing this person. I guess to just not die. I guess that's our new goal is to not die with this. I'm surprised. Uh, all right, I'm going to low checkpoint. All right, so if we go down. Okay, so we've got a couple. Oh my goodness, there's so many different endings. How the heck do you do this? How do you get all the stuff? <laughs> okay, start, meet Esther, 
Act One performed Eldritch Mouth, Metamorphosis, Dark Communion, Final Pledge, one of three over here. One of three. And then one of three over here. <sighs> okay. All right, let's try going back to... Let's see... I think Metamorphosis? Hi, Lynetta. I'm going to skip past a few of the things you said, though. We're going to get right to your book, okay? Ensign. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lynetta. Okay, we've got a hand to talk to you now. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right. So now I think we have to switch books, right? Okay. Backstage in a closed room with a mirror. Prepare the host for scene two. by following. Apply the masquerade mask, elegant robes, ritual knife. Oh. Darling, who? oh, oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going to happen? Dearest. Uh oh. <gasps> My sister? You did it. We didn't yet. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you little... Oh, you're mischievous, Esther. Look at me, darling. What's going on? I don't know. I just work here, man. Well, obviously your darling has been playing us for fools. Oh, you are such a... You are stirring the pot, Esther. <laughs> I thought I had you wrapped around my finger. To think you broke your vow of fealty for this... Slovenly understudy. You really like that word, slovenly. You've used it a few times now. Esther, I knew you were a bedazzled, dime a dozen hussy that feds the first literate ass kisser that'll sit through your little <laughs> skits, but I expected better from you, darling. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're both mad at me when I feel like they could be mad at each other, actually. I don't know why this is all. I don't know why this is all coming at me for. What's going on here? Did you really think you were just going to date two outer gods at the same time and yeah, get away with it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Did you just call the king in yellow a skit? It is a composition of theatrical genius that a Philistine like you couldn't appreciate if you had another thousand years sleep to mull it over. Okay. But if my play is too cultured for your tragically unrefined sensibilities, perhaps you've heard the one about the watery tart who never gets a second date. That one is true comedy. Esther, listen. I've met Lynetta. If you're going to fight, if you're going to fisticuff right now, you are not going to win. Lynetta is going to crush you. You want to ease up here, I think. You uppity little... Yeah, right? Lynetta Crusher! Hey, calm down, you two. There's enough of me to go around. Can we all just smooch and make up? Uh, d uh darling, you are stret- You are- I- mm, you're pushing it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. There was not enough of me to go around, apparently. They were kind of mad, I think. They were a little bit upset. <laughs> Okay, so that might be that might be one of the ending things that we didn't get before, right? Oh, that's not even a secret thing. It's just a huh. 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 Huh? <laughs> How? <laughs> Does anybody know how we get all of the endings? What the fudge? Okay. Go through that, but instead... Oh, hang on a sec. But instead of yellow sign, summon Lynetta. Okay. Like over here? Thank you. Listen. Yep, the applause. Yep. 
to ensure you stay in character. Yep, okay, you stabbed me. I gotcha. Okay, so now we have to do the final thing, right? Yes, okay, so those are her lines there. And then over here, the yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the king in yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession. Okay, but if I switch books... Okay. So summon Lynetta, like with this spell? Metamorphosis? I guess so. That's like the only one. I can't I can't do that one. So it's gotta be that one. That's the only one that's that's working. Okay, what do I need? Uh total darkness, no candles, uh no image or tapestry. Picture is down. Uh mask, robes, necklace. Necklace, mask, robes, ceremonial knife. Got it. When all is complete, chant. Oh, am I not wearing that? Oh, I thought I had it on. I must have taken it off. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I got the wrong mask on. Uh oh. Uh-oh. All right, Lynetta, let's see what's up. You're going to see the, the other mask on me. Uh-oh. I can't get the ritual mask to stay on over my masquerade one. Darling, is everything all right? Uh-oh. Uh Hi, Lynetta. She's finished with her shower? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just working on my pronunciation. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in the book, she won't notice the mask is fused to my face. Oh, my gosh. It's upside down. Are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. Uh, no. No, 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 I got it. I'm a big boy. Rylian can, uh, can't be harder to figure out than English. <laughs> it would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. True. Oh, that explains it. Why I couldn't read it? <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. Uh, okay, well, uh, uh, okay. Uh, my eyesight has been going out for a while now. I got to pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. Ha ha ha. I didn't know you need glasses. Uh, for sure. Definitely. I totally do. It's a real thing that I need. I uh, usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Nope. Didn't need to see you this entire time. <laughs> Oh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality. Ha ha ha. Darling. What, Lynetta? I feel like I've lied pretty well. I mean, I think I've told the truth pretty well just now. Yeah. Put the book down. No. Yulp. Now. <laughs> no. N no. <laughs> That's it, I'm screwed. If she sees this masquerade mask on my face, she'll know I've been meeting with S tier. Think, think, think. What? <gasps> Broken heart! Quick, the bathroom. Open this door. Did you throw the book at Lynetta? With, will that door hold? No telling if this mask is still on my face when she gets in. So I have no other option. I dig my fingers on the ed under the edge of the mask. Oh, no. It feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off for mere millimeters of leverage. The mask feels fused to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. This pain is unreal. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I...
<laughs> Why did you lock me out, darling? Uh, hi, Lynetta. Heavens below, what happened to you? Your sister attacked me. I, uh... I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here happens. Is, is that why you were hiding your face? Yeah. No, baby. Ah! I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. Ah! Ah! I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? Ah! <laughs> Lynetta? Shh. Just let me hold you. Lynetta, my face is off. She's too sweet. This feels right now almost makes tearing off my face worth it. No, it doesn't. Oh, gosh. Almost. Okay. <laughs> Just stay right there until you're mentally prepared to continue. Okay, I'm prepared. All right. I end up blacking out from the pain, waking up sometime later in my bed. The golden mask was nowhere to be found. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and figure out whether or not we we have a... Fa <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, we still have a face. As long as we wash our face, then we have a face underneath our face. Kind of. <laughs> Ah, I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, no. She found the mask? Maybe. Wait, where'd Lynetta go? Uh, Lynetta, sorry, can you can you come back? Oh, no, can you go away? Lynetta? Dang it. Hey, hey, uh, what's up? What's up? Can I talk to you? No? Can I talk to you? You're not gonna let me talk to you? Okay. <laughs> what's the next spell? Okay, this was the embrace one. For some reason, we can't, like... Okay, so this one's Dark Communion. Is she outside? Maybe. No, she's not outside. Okay. So do we do the next ritual, then? Or do we go back to the yellow book? Oh, because if we do the yellow book, I'm not wearing the mask anymore. So what do you think? Am I, uh, am I doing yellow book or am I doing pink book for the other ending? Yeah, the window's closed. No more yellow book? Okay, we'll try pink book then. All right, let's see what Lynetta says. Room be well lit. No, wear no robes, necklace, have the offering on your person. Offering. Well lit. Does well lit mean the window too? Uh, does well lit mean the window as well? It says well lit. Offering. There we go. I've got the offering. Uh, do I have the light on above? Okay, I have the light on above and the lamp on. Close the window? Okay, we'll close the window. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Dark communion time. No robe. Ah, oh, that was silly. Oh, oh, wear no robe. Oh, I see. Okay. Or necklaces. Got it. Oh, my face. Oh, okay. I already used up my supplies to cook for S tier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All that's left is leftovers from her banquet. Uh-oh. That's no good, darling. Uh-oh. Sorry, Lynetta. It's no good to leave dirty dishes out, <laughs> especially after eating so much. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh. You know, it's important to take your diet seriously. You should be more careful when your health is on the line. I guess so, huh? I'll remember that. <laughs> this much food, 
It's surprising that you were able to eat it alone. I wasn't alone. I mean, I definitely was. Some of it got thrown out. Yeah, well, I, I know. I don't look it, but I'm a big eater, especially with sweets. You're so interesting, darling. <laughs> I'm learning something new about you every day. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. I can't tell if she's on to me or if she's in denial, but I sense I'm in trouble. Yep. <laughs> How does this game always know what I'm talking about? It always uses the words I've just used. It just can't be helped if you got a sweet tooth. Yeah, okay. Do you want me to feed you the last of it? No, I can eat it myself. What, the leftovers? I'm good. It's no good to waste food, darling. Yeah, there's not much left there, fam. Do you mean the bones? No, you were right. I should watch my diet more carefully. You've already eaten the poison. You may as well lick the plate, as they say. Yeah, didn't you say that last time? That's that's an idiom that I'm not familiar with. I'm full. Make room in your dessert stomach. <laughs> Stop. Oh, no. Stop trying to kill me, Lynetta. We had a good thing going. I tore off my face for you. Come on. She's merciless. Say ah. Ah, no, thank you. <laughs> no. Huh? You don't want to eat? I don't want to eat. I wonder if this isn't the food that you like. It sounds like oh, you're saying no. this was for someone else. <laughs> Lynetta, please. <laughs> Lynetta, chill. <laughs> Lynetta, listen. Listen, Lynetta. Listen. But that can't be right. Oh, no. After all, my darling wouldn't secretly be hosting communion with other gods behind my back. Lynetta, this is too much. Just come out and say it. Right? Lynetta. Darling. Lynetta, just come out and say it. Those are dangerous eyes. <laughs> I've got my back against a wall here. Even if she knows, I have to keep up appearances here or she'll drag me to oblivion without a second thought. I reluctantly unclench my teeth and open my mouth. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty with an unusual texture, like it's covered in thousands of tiny, small hairs. It tastes strangely. I can't even begin to guess what the food this used to be is. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato, filling my mouth with a sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity, sort of pineapple-y even. That is... that is good. It's better than good, it's great! It's godlike nectar, instantly addictive ambrosia. More! I need more! It's too delicious to have just one bite! It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. My fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swim around my, swims around my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it's making my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my own cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting, then an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. Just a little while longer. Let me chew it a little while longer. The food falls out of my mouth with a splat as a heap of bloody viscera. It might be my imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. Good boy. You know how much I love to spoil you. Are you trying to murder me, Lynetta? Do you remember the last time we did this? No. And you couldn't speak back to me? I, 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 what? I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? You try to kill me? <laughs> Why do you have such a broken heart up here, Lynetta? No. 
One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. I guess so. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Okay. Who <sighs> knew waking up could be so exhausting? Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? You know me so well. <laughs> but don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. Okay, I won't try to break up with you again. I know what you did. I won't try to break up with you again. Don't look so surprised. I won't. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. I know, I broke up with you. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. Okay, chill. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. I did notice. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you, and we can keep doing this forever and, and ever. Hmm. Could you get the lights from me again, darling? Yeah, okay. All right. So keep doing the pink book, or do we go to the yellow book? It's a final pledge. Do we finish off the pink book? I wonder if we get an alternate ending now that we don't have all red hearts. I guess we do have to finish it. Okay, chant five times. Uh, we need the ritual knife. Got the tortoise ritual knife. We're going to get all dolled up for this event. Take one last look in the mirror. Are you sure you want to do the pink book? Is everybody down for pink book? You could do either. It's a lot of pink. I do see some yellows in there. Yeah, uh, whoever wants pink book, say pink. Whoever wants yellow, say yellow. Okay. Has a lot of pink. Pink, please. Mm. Shiny, I swear. <laughs> I saw that blue in there. Come on now. All right, everybody says pink. There's there's only a couple yellows. So I think the right answer is probably pink. We're going to give it a shot. Let's do it. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Wait, stop. Lynetta takes the book from my we hands. Need to talk. All right, I'll tell you what. We did just hear this a minute ago, okay? I might play a couple of the lines here, but then I'm going to skip forward to the end because I want to find out what happens now that we have one broken heart and the other hearts should be red. So I'll play a couple lines, but then we're going to skip right to the end. Because we heard this a little I, bit earlier. I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. The truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, oh, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. <sighs> I just wanted to have the best crown work for a happy future together. <laughs> so I thought I could scare you straight. I know. But now I know that's not possible. Not here. Not now. All right, Lynetta. I know. All right, I know. We got to skip now. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped. This was different. This was different. It was different. Why didn't anyone tell me it was different? No! 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 Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? No! Right, let's get our smooch. Till we meet again. Duh. Again, duh. <laughs> Banquet, then switch to pink book. Okay, all right, I'll try that. Thank you. All right, let's, let's find out what we just missed. 
Banquet, and then we'll switch back. <laughs> All right. Uh, banquet is here. Then we switch to... Okay. Bye, s -tier. I don't want to talk to you. Bye, s -tier. Bye. Bye. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, s -tier. Bye. Goodbye. We're doing pink book. Okay. Bye, s -tier. Bye. Bye. Sorry, s -tier. Oh, oh, oh. Eat the food. Okay. Oh, you kissed my fingies. Okay. Pink book. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. All right. Let's do it. We're doing it fast. <laughs> I didn't realize we had new... It was new stuff. Okay. Metamorphosis. Uh... If you see something strange, not your imagination, be ready. Total darkness, the lights are candles. Okay, poster. No lights or candles. Got it. See total darkness. Robe, necklace, mask, knife. Robe, necklace, mask, knife. Got it. And robes. We're good. All right, let's do it. Let's get our thick Thulu back. Always remember the second video. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Woo! Oh, too fast. Woo! Oh, too fast. <laughs> necklace? I have the... Oh, I didn't. Okay, I put the necklace on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Uh-oh, I can't rid of the ritual mask. Okay, we're going to skip this. Skipping. We got to go fast. The book's upside down. Okay, we're going to the bathroom. Okay, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Ah, don't look at me, Lynetta. Don't look at me. Ah, my face. <laughs> I'm here because I like you. Oh, no God. what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around. Okay. Thank you, Lynetta. That's very sweet of you. Okay. Okay, we're chill now. All right. Hi, Lynetta. Okay, we can't talk while she's hanging on the bed. We used to be able to do that while she was hanging out. Okay. Um, so we go forward to the next one. We skip that. Uh, well lit, no robes, offering on your person. Okay. Well lit, no robes. Offering on our person. Sure, I don't know which offering we need, but we'll do it anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, no robes or necklaces. Yes, here we go. I already used up my supplies to cook for S tier. All right, so there's the food. The food's gonna eat us as we eat it. And then as we spit it out, twice as much food exists as did initially. OT listened without hearing. That's why he didn't realize it was so obvious. I didn't realize, I thought they were the exact same lines though. I'm pretty sure the first few lines are the exact same. Okay, the food fell out of my mouth. Okay. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? Yeah, I do remember. So you know what happens next, right? Yep, we end the world, Lanetta. We end the world. One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. I think so. As always, take as much time as you need. <laughs> I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. All right, Lanetta, we'll give it a shot. <sighs> Who knew waking up could be so exhausting? I didn't know. <laughs> Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? You know me so well. Yeah, I do. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. <sighs> I won't break up with you this I time, Lynetta. I don't know. Look so surprised. I know. Right before I, I know. Don't think that I know. So I know. I know. Hmm. I know. <laughs> lights for me again, darling. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit the lights for you. It's all good. All right. Lights are off, Lynetta. You can go to sleep or whatever. You're fine. You're fine. You need to get some rest or whatever. Windows closed. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, all right. So, well, lit was the last one. This one is just fill it five times. That's two. Ah! That's three. Four. Wait. All right. So... First couple, I swear, they're the exact same lines, but apparently it changes as we go on a little bit, so we'll let it go. Lynetta takes the book from my hands. We need to talk. These are the same. I I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. Truth okay. is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. Yeah, these are the same. I just 
wanted to have the best prom work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. This is definitely the same with the scared straight part. Yeah, definitely. But now I know that's not possible. Not here. Not now. Okay. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. All right, this seems new. So, let's break up. Ah! What? What? Our Lynetta just broke up with us. What the fudge happened? Why? Lynetta, I'm sorry. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. Oh my god! So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die, for my sake. Whoa! <laughs> no! Kill them all! But, where do we go from here? What's left after today? Tomorrow, silly. Yeah, but what do we do then? You're taking the book with you, too? I'm just giving it back to Moo. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Oh my god. Lynetta, no! Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake. And mine. Lynetta, what? Lynetta, we already ended one entire universe. There's no one even in this world right now. Are you, you don't want to hang out? What the fudge? Lynetta, no. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? Oh my god! You are, you are actually breaking up with us! Lynetta, my thick Thulu, what happened? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. Shut the front door, Lynetta. That's how your sister gets in. <laughs> Take care. Lynetta, no! Oh! Which one of you, which one of you, which one of you, you said, you said, go to the banquet, do the exact same things, and we'll see all the lines that we missed a minute ago. We did not see all the lines we missed a minute ago. There was no smooching. We got friend zoned. Who did this? How did this happen? I thought we were just redoing the same moment so we could see the lines again. How did this happen? What did you do? What do you mean Lamau get bamboozled? How do we get back to the other ending? Stop. OT broke two hearts instead of one. How? This is different. How did it? Yes, I know it's different, but how did it happen? I think you did something before. What did I do? How did it go differently when you skipped? I don't know. We didn't go that far back the first time? What do you mean? Okay, wait, wait, hang on. I think before you went back to the yellow mark before, then you went to the back to the banquet. Oh, I went to the yellow mark before? Oh. 
Can't you just go to the other ending? Shouldn't it be in the selection screen? Yeah, Shiny, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Hang on a sec. All right, so this is the other screen here. Here's our list of endings, okay? Meet again was the one I was trying to do again. This one... Yeah, this one is is uh, Awaken and Redux. I think that was the, the, the friend zone one. What the fudge? I don't know how it happened. You did not make her go away on the bed? Was that the difference? I can't click on the endings, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't let, doesn't let me select any of them. I can't select Final Pledge either. I, I think... Yeah, so the ones that highlight, I can click on. So I can click on Act 3 Performed. I can click on Banquet. I can click on Dark Communion. Do Act 3 Performed? Okay. Act 3, not Banquet. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, bye, Estir. I don't want to talk to you anymore, Estir. I'm actually, I've had enough of you. Bye, Estir. Bye. Go away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we do the summoning for Lynetta, right? Right? Okay. I think so. All right, before the Mitru, uh, if you see or hear something strange, not your imagination, precede total darkness, no candles. Yeah, yeah, it's all dark in here. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, images appear in no way. Okay, take the poster down. Ceremonial robe and necklace. Got it. Uh, have a ceremonial knife. Yeah, I didn't have the knife yet. I'm going to get the tortoise just for uh, encouragement. And the I'm going to fill up every item slot just in case, because I'm pretty sure I did do that. Here we go! Uh-oh. I can't get the ritual mask off over my masquerade one. Okay, so we're going to skip this part. Ah, uh, nothing, Lynetta. Nothing. Oh, God, my face. Ah. Uh. I'm ripping off the mask right now. Chunks of, oh, oh God. Ah, yeah, my face. Oh God, it sounds so terrible. Baby, ah! I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. Ah! <laughs> I'm here because I like you, no matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me. Oh. Shh. Okay, all right, sorry, Lynetta. I see a message in chat that I have to read. Okay. All right, Masta says, uh, perform Metamorphosis from the Pink Book, perform Dark Communion from the Pink Book, perform Final Pledge from the Pink Book. Okay. Well, the next one is Dark Communion, so that's the right one, right? Metamorphosis, yep. Dark Communion, yep. And then Final Pledge is the next one. Okay, we should be good. Room well lit. Got it. Room's well lit. Don't need the Mask of the Robes or anything. Offering on our person. I think I do. Here we go. All right. Now, now she's going to be really mad about the food again, though. All right. Skipping the food stuff. Sorry, Lynetta. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Yep. It's eating us. It's eating us back. I'm eating it and it's eating us. I know. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, what do you is that? Do you remember the last time we did this? Okay. When you couldn't speak back? Yes, I do remember. So, you know what happens next. One last ritual. And then and we, we say, say goodbye, goodbye again. again. As always, okay. take as much time as you need. Okay. I don't know. Go back to sleep then. Take a nap. You know me so well. I do. But don't try. I'm not gonna. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Lynetta's asleep. Lights are off. Okay. All right, final pledge. Chant five times, ritual knife. Here we go. Wait. Yeah, okay. We'll see if this ends up different. One. Two, 
three, four. Wait. Okay. All right. This should be it. We should actually hear the line now. Lynetta takes the book from my hands. We need to talk. Okay. <sighs> I, <laughs> I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. Okay. Truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. Right. I just wanted to have the best ground work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. Yeah, see, these are definitely the same lines. Scared straight. We've definitely heard this. But now I know that's not possible. Not here. Not now. Are we just getting broken up with again? You're just not the same person that ended no! for me so long ago. No! So, let's break up. Monster! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Nope. No, 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 no. All right, I saw someone in chat say we have to go before the banquet. God dang it. We're going to act two performed. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. 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 Okay, someone has said control does fast forward. Ooh, that's even faster. All right, that's closed. Let's get this stuff on. I think I need it. Nice. That thingy. Got ceremonial robes. Let's go. <laughs> Lights off. Posters down. Switch to pink book. Here we go. Metamorphosis. All right, here we go. Proceed total darkness. Yep, poster down. Ceremonial knife. And here we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> whoa. That was way faster. Wash base? Oh, maybe. I don't know. All right, we washed our face. Ah, uh, see, but it stays the same. Okay. All right. We did that one. <laughs> There's the breakup one. Uh, room well lit. No robes or necklaces. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Yep, I do. Here we go. Wait, room well lit? I'm gonna do candles just in case. <laughs> oh, shush, come on. By the way, thank you everybody who became a channel membership, or who became a channel membership. Thank you to everybody who became a member today. If I didn't say that enough earlier, I just want to say thank you again. Thank you. Delicious! Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. I'd like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? Okay, we're skipping ahead. Okay, Lynetta's asleep. Wants the lights off. Lights are off. I'm gonna get dressed to the nines, even though I don't need to be. All right, here we go. Here's the final one. We're gonna go red candles again. All right, we're doing it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 All right, one more. Wait, stop. Lenetta takes the book from my hands. We need to talk. Okay. I I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. See? Same line. Truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just... I wanted to have, but now I, you're just not the, so.
Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. So, I'll go back to sleep. Tomorrow. I'm just... Hopefully the... I'll have... It's... It's a beautiful... Maybe... Okay, it did change a little bit. It did change a little bit. I skipped a couple lines there. I skipped a couple lines and I'm upset about that because this was actually the right one. This was the right one and I skipped a couple lines. I'm gonna read this out. Maybe there's still a chance for us in a reality far away from this one, but the best I can do in this one is spare you. You're not gonna kill me? No, I am going to kill you. To spare you from the slow, agonizing end. I'm sparing you the pain of being alive when the fog lifts and reality sets in. You won't have to live to see the consequences of the spells you've already completed. At least this way, you won't feel a thing. Aw, thanks, Lynetta. Goodbye, darling. Oh, let's smooch! It's time to smooch! Yay! We're dead! <laughs> we did it! And we saw every single line. I was wrong. I didn't actually skip any lines. We're good. I saw every single one. All right. Uh, so how do we get to the... We've got two other endings. Two other endings! Does anybody know? Ooh, I think those ones are yellow related, right? So we've done all of the pink ones. But we haven't done all of the yellow ones. Cute and depressing? I know, right? Now do pink... Oh, do pink then yellow? Yeah, yeah, we did pink then yellow. Oh, you mean... Oh, you... St oh, start with... Okay, so which book? Do we do Dark Communion and then we switch to yellow? Why can't we have Lynetta? I don't know. I don't know, my friend. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Tear off mask, then do the yellow sign. Oh, is that another one? Tear off mask. Tear off mask. Okay. Maybe I could do banquet and then tear off mask. I think so, right? Yo, what up, s -tier? Hey, yo, let's go. Thank you, s -tier. Okay, great. <laughs> uh... Wait, no, I should be on the other side? Oh, banquet after ripping off the mask. That makes more sense. Let me go back. Um, so I should be looking at... Dark Communion, maybe? Okay, Dark Communion. And then... Wait, she's in bed. That's not a good idea. She's still here. Okay, wait, maybe if I go outside, she'll disappear. Okay, I come back in. All right, she's gone. Okay, cool. Let's open up window. Switch over to the yellow book. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. All right, so we have to masquerade mask, elegant robes, ritual knife, look in a mirror. Is this the right order? Didn't I have to, didn't I have to rip off the mask first? Hmm. Did I already rip off the mask? I didn't already rip off the mask. Huh. Some of you are saying I'm good, so I'll just proceed forwards, I guess? Huh. All right, got the mask, got the robes. Uh, I think I have the ritual knife, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Don't need a pendant? I don't think so. Okay. Do everything. Look in the mirror. Okay. There's me in the mirror. Ah! <laughs> the mask won't stay on my face. It just keeps slipping off. What the fudge? That metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aha, uh -huh, just having pre-show jitters. Getting the mask on is tricky with my hands shaking so much. Jitters? 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, ha huh? I know I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous in front of pretty girls like you. Dearest, you love your king, yes? Uh-oh. Yeah? Yeah? And you would never lie to her, correct? Is Lynetta in the shower? Uh-oh. Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, no. I try to avert my gaze, but her iron grasp holds my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nails dig into my cheek. What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate thing. Oh, no! For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. Dude, rude! And in the interest of not having further... accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. Yeah, unless I shut the window, I guess. <laughs> Let me express your gratitude to your king. Uh, cheers! Thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. Yeah, what's up? I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Okay. I can't open the shower. So I have to, I have to go out here, I guess. Uh, I did look in a mirror. I think I have to start reading. Wait, well lit. Is it well lit yet? Yeah, I'll just put the candles on just in case. Alright, here we go. Welcome, company, much cherished. My loneliness thus perished. This evening we shall share which will be wasted by myself. No tents have arrived tonight. All right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, I think. Yep, fast forwarding a little bit. Oh, got to do my lines. Okay. We've already seen this part of the play. Yep. Very good. The end of the play. <laughs> Did you notice that we have a broken heart up here? Look at that. It's black this time. It was blue on the other side. All right. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. Light red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Got the cold storage. Got the red fire candles. Uh, allow the king into the room. Yeah, window's open, so we're good there. Wait, what? Oh, that's part of the dress. I thought you had tentacle legs for a second. Well, maybe you do. Are these tentacle legs underneath the dress? Oh, maybe. Okay. All right. Uh, do not make a mistake. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> what? Red fire candles. Yeah, okay, so that's the, that's the thing that I really wanted to focus on, was how do I get the secrets so that I can un unlock the next campaign? Because I do want to, I wait, make three mistakes? Oh, that's what it is. I have to make mistakes to unlock it. Oh, so I've got one mistake. I need two more. I don't know how to de get it, but that unlocks the next campaign. And then we can actually meet the next, uh, the next Eldritch God and we can go on dates with them. Cause I see a third option, like a third campaign to go through. And I would love to stream that with all of you. So we definitely have to figure this out. <laughs> Too fast. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> all right. We'll go slower this time. Need ingredients. Oh, I thought I had them. Okay. Oh, 
Gotcha. I see what you mean. Oh, that's weird. Because it said light red fire candles, and I did the blue one, so I thought it was going to give a mistake. I saw leftovers from her dark you communion. Must be kidding. <laughs> You're seriously planning on serving this to me? I didn't mean to leave my camera so big, but yeah. Wait, I can explain! Do. I have no explanation. I have nothing, yeah. Mere leftovers for a king? How humiliating! I guess oh two broken hearts? <gasps> it's getting bad in here. If you would serve your king leftovers, who, pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? <laughs> uh oh. She's on to me. She's gonna figure out who I served it to. Lanetta! I hear heavy chains dragging nearby. I just got hungry. Skip breakfast this morning, so... You ate an entire feast on your own because you were feeling peckish? Yeah. So, the person you think deserves to eat before the king does is you? Also, yeah. Such self-idolatry is a serious crime against me. God, king, and heiress to Carcosa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Conveniently, the punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same. Death. Well, that's kind of rude. <sighs> Don't do that. What a shame. I thought you had some potential, but you're a totally worthless servant in the end. Okay. Sorry. Oh, God, she's serious. I'm seriously going to die here. Wait, what if I did something to appease you? Then would my crime be forgiven? I am God King. All is as I say. If I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. Okay, then do it. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon you. <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. Okay. I immediately drop into a full prostration bow. Please forgive me. Let me make things up to you. I beg you. <laughs> I am a lowly worm. Forgive me, but don't let me off without harsh punishment first. You... Don't you think you said that too willingly? <laughs> I'm just I checking, think so. but... You're not... Enjoying this, right? I, I don't know what they're enjoying anymore. I, I don't know if this is what we're into. I, I guess so. I have no idea. Uh... No? <laughs> oh. I don't know what to say, my friend. I have no idea. <laughs> this is what you were about to try to feed me, right? And this will be your trough, swine! Uh, uh, okay. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? <laughs> what? Open wide and don't drop a single morsel. I won't forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. Uh, okay, I gotta make a mess now. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoved into my mouth. It feels gritty with an unusual texture, like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. It tastes strangely. I can't even begin to guess what food it used to be. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half, one swallow pieces, so I think we've seen all of this before. Yep, fond memories of food, gotcha. It's so bad that I just eat my own cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting, then an unbearable burning. Okay, and then we spit out the food. The food falls out of my mouth with a splat as a heap of bloody viscera. It might be my imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. <sighs> Wipe away that sour expression, dearest. The next act is about to begin. Okay. And everyone will be watching. All righty. So are we chill now? <laughs> uh-huh. Are we good? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, mirror's still treating us weird. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay, so someone said go to the back of the book with the blue fire can- Oh, look, it's the moon! I nog ya hog nog <laughs> Two out of three! Let's go! All right, does anybody know? Does anybody know what the last, the last secret bad thing that I have to do is? Does anybody know? <laughs> yeah, uh-oh, indeed, right? Let's go! Need to find the blue things to do. Blue things to do. Hmm. It's in the previous part. There's something else. You mess with the banquet. Pink chapter. It's in chapter one. Somebody said who it is. It's the thing before metamorphosis. The last secret was on the first date. Okay. All right. So I just have to finish off this one. Then we can go to the first date and we can unlock the last thing. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. All right. What's this one then? Mm. Oh, did we do this one? Setting interior. No lights besides open window. Okay. No lights. Open window. Uh, wearing the robes and mask. Okay, I got it all on. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're skipping a lot of this. <laughs> We still have to go through this step here. Wah, skipping a lot of stuff. Uh, reading through this part. Oh no, too fast! Oh, Dang it. Dang it, that's not what I, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, so that didn't get the ending. Oh, we were so close. We were one away. Okay, wait. Which which one do I need to go back to for this one? <laughs> Was that Act Three performed? The mistake still count. The mistake still counts as good, but we did. We had like two. Uh, it was before banquet, right? We went to Dark Communion, and then we went over to Banquet. I think. Yeah, Dark Communion. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Lynetta. Okay, I gotta go outside so you go away. Okay, I go inside. All right, now I switch over to switch over to yellow book. Okay, got yellow book ready. Masquerade mask, elegant robes, ritual knife. Okay, mask, robes. I already have the knife in my pocket. Go to the bathroom. Check the mirror. Won't stay on. And then she comes in here and she's all upset. We get away. And then, uh, okay, elegant rose ritual. Okay, yep, yeah, do the play. Okay, setting interior well lit. Okay. Let's try to do this without dying this time. I think I left the window open. <laughs> uh, okay, we got this. We got this. Dark communion. <laughs> Sorry, Lynette, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, wait. We're not wearing the robes? Okay, close you. Uh, okay, bathroom. Look in the mirror. Check mirror. Oh, the mask won't stay on. Okay, cool. Then we go exit. Okay. I think we're good. Window open. Candles lit. Lights off, I think? Hang on a sec. We gotta change books to yellow. Okay, we checked all of that in the mirror. Setting interior well lit. Okay, it's well lit. Okay. I think we're good. Window is open. It's it's good, right? <laughs> now I'm worried. Oh, good. Okay, cool. All right, so we have our first broken heart. I see that. Okay, yes, yes, you do your lines. Okay, now I'll do mine very slowly without dying. 
Okay, very slowly. We're not dying. We can do this. Nice. Let's give the lines. <laughs> Yay, the, the play is over. Okay, dope. Thank you. Come on, I want to find these endings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, goodbye, S tier. All right, next part. Okay. Cold storage, red fire candles, king. Even though we already did the food stuff before, right? Or did we not? We only have one broken heart. You're right. Didn't we have two before? Hmm. I think it's okay. You still want blue fire candles, huh? Okay, I'll put them on blue fire candles. We need the second... Wait, am I good? Or, like, is this how we get the... Oh, it's because of the food. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Light red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake. Okay. So... Should be... Good. Yeah. Okay. Should be good. Oh, yep. Already cooked for Lynetta. Oh, hey, you're going to make me throw up on the ground? Oh, I threw up on the ground. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Now's the part where, where, where we need to definitely not die. Okay, setting interior. No lights besides open window. No lights. Okay. Okay, no lights. Open window. Those are definitely tentacles underneath her dress. I am realizing that now. It's definitely tentacle legs. Did not notice that before. Okay. Uh, interior, no lights besides open window. Robes and mask. Robes and mask. Got it. All right, here we go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. Two broken hearts. I see it. So she's going to read her lines. And it's our turn, and we go nice and slow. We don't screw up this time, OT. We don't screw up this time. Nice and slow. Don't go any faster than that. You can even afford to slow down a bit. That'd be fine. Nice. Just skip the lines. Okay, real slow. Real slow. Real, ooh, really slowly. We did it! Okay. All right. I think we did it! Yes! Yes! Oh. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> You're all too kind. Yeah, cheers, Esther. Cheers. Listen to that applause, dearest. I know, right? We did a great job. Numerable voices. Okay, yeah, so now's the part where they're doing stuff outside. She stabs me in the chest. About smooches? Yeah, I want my smooches. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. True. Okay, okay. So now's, now how do we, <laughs> do we just cast the final spell? Yellow sign. Okay. What do we do on yellow sign? Do we just, we, do, we just draw? Is there anything else? I'm seeing people say don't skip or anything. The moon? What? Is there something else about the moon now? I can't light the candles. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, we've already read this part out. So it's just the drawing. Wait, someone said go back to the pink book? Wait, what? Go back to the pink book or draw the thing? We've already got two black hearts, though. I feel like this is the right move. No pink book? Or do you mean no comma pink book? Do unspeakable horror. Draw the picture. Why pink? Oh, we still have two remaining endings left. So maybe one of them is pink book. The other one is this one. Here, we'll do... Oh, the Blackfire reveals secrets? 
Oh, okay. Well, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any remaining secrets yet. <laughs> All right, doing the symbol. Behold, the yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Okay. Oh, I presume you are wondering about those smooches, huh? Sure am. Tell me, does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? What are you talking about? What? Are, what? Yeah, give me my smooches. That was the deal. <laughs> You'll get nothing from me. Well, I take everything from you. What? <laughs> so, no smooch? None. What? Not even two? <laughs> If I wasn't going to give you one, why would you think I'd give you two? Because that was the deal, friend. That was what you agreed to. You know, I, I think I hate people that go back on their word even more than I love smooches. <laughs> What's with that defiant tone? <laughs> You're supposed to be under my control now. Well, no, you broke the deal. Say, you're the embodiment of the light from your planet, right? Why, yes, I am. Okay. So in a way, the planet star Carcosa is also you, right? Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? It means I just figure out a way to get the smooches you promised me, even if it means taking this whole planet with me. Okay. Carcosa, Grivmazda, Thubuzubuzubuzubu. Hey, you're only supposed to cast that once. Carcosa is close enough. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Are we crashing? Are we crashing the star into Earth? Carcosa is an. What are you doing casting <laughs> that spell repeatedly like that? That spell only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the Earth. But why do something <laughs> so pointless? If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Don't tell me. <laughs> Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? Yep. <laughs> Carcosa. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Heavens below. You're serious. I sure am. I'm gonna get that smooch. Come now, we can be reasonable about this. <laughs> you had your chance. Two smooches. If you crash Carcosa into the Earth, it'll be an extinction-level event for humanity. And for you. I'll lose every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lametta. True. There's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. I think it's the worst deal for you than it is for me. I'm pretty sure I'm immortal. Dying once or twice is a small price to pay for smooches. <laughs> you like being with me? Think back to all the good times we had on our date. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they were mostly good for you, friend. I didn't really like them. Yeah, dot, dot, dot. That was short. <laughs> uh, please? Uh, no. Carcosa, I've memorized it. Oh! You've met with a terrible end, haven't you? That's pretty cool. I like this ending. That was really good. 2001 Space Odyssey. I love that. That's so good. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's really... Ugh. I like their, their rendition of it. Ha <laughs> All right. Where's the other secret? Okay, pink book now. I found the third mistake in the pink book. Please read this. Yes, but if I go to load checkpoint, we still have one ending to unlock. So where do we go? <laughs> Do we go to pink or do we go to yellow? Where where are we where are we going with this? Where are we going this? We got one ending left. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> Does anybody know? 
I don't want you to guess in chat. I, I want you to tell me if you already know. Start at Eldritch Mouth. You sure? Metamorphosis? Okay, that's a different answer. It's behind Eldritch Mouth spell. Okay. Before Metamorphosis. Okay. Start at Act 2 performed. And I can still get the remaining secret? The first secret is in Chapter 1. Okay. Well, what's Chapter 1? What do you mean? Do you mean this? Oh, it's in Chapter the first? Well, how the heck? How the... Okay. Yeah, it's just Lynetta up here. Okay, how do we get the... How do we get the secret then? If it's up here. Previous date, secret first. Eldritch Mouth. So it's maybe it's an invoke death? Okay, alright. Sorry, Lynetta, I gotta skip you. Ah! Don't spook me. Okay, light it to blue. Go to the back of the book. Oh, 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 blue page, blue page. Uh can't do that one. Okay. Back of the book, nothing your imagination. Okay, the black the blue lights are lit now. Can't read that. Unspeakable horror? Uh, I need Eldritch Mouth first? Okay. Alright, low checkpoint. Eldritch Mouth. Uh, okay. Okay, chill. Chill, Lynetta. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, this is the longest one. Okay. <laughs> okay! Is this it? Wait, no, that can't be it. Metamorphosis. Read it with this, with the blue lights? Is it different like this? Read it blue, it has to be. Okay. <gasps> we did it! We did the secret! Oh, we did it! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now, all we have to do is get the final ending because the next stream, we can do this one, which is the third chapter, the giant kitty lady who I also have a plushie of. <laughs> all right. Okay. So how do we do this one to get the final last ending that we don't have unlocked? I'm just going to read chat for a minute because I want to I wanna figure out how we can do this together. Plus, the stream's been really long, so please help me. <laughs> Does anybody know? Third chapter, extremely short. Oh, okay. Go to Metamorphosis and then finish all of yellow. They seriously got all the plushies of everything? Nah, not of everything. Break one heart, not two. Go to Metamorphosis, then finish yellow. Metamorphosis, Metamorphosis. Okay. Hello. Hands. Hello. Okay. And then finish yellow. All right. I've had my water. Let's do this. Bye, Lynetta. Sorry, I got to make you leave now. I got to make you leave. We got to do all yellow now. All right. We are, we are going to do this at lightning speed. Okay. Mask, gray mask. We need a uh, mask. We need robes. We need the knife. We're good. Let's go check ourselves in the mirror. Ah, the mask fell off. Hi. Bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, one broken heart. Okay, perfect. Okay, we've got one broken heart. We're good. Look in the mirror. Okay, setting interior well lit. Well lit. 
Curtains open. Lights are on. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. And we read it very slowly so we don't die. Good. <laughs> okay. What's next? Yep, thank you, S tier. Good to hear from you again. Good good meeting you, fam. Alright, now we're doing snacks. So we need food, red candles, king in the room. Got the food, got the red candles, king's in the room. Yeah, king's in the room. Okay. And we chant. Oh! oh I thought we died. Okay, shush. Don't do that. I thought we died. That freaked the heck out of me. My heart actually dropped. Okay, yes, S tier. Yep, we got it. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing the next one, right? Uh, so the previous one is just the food. Setting interior. No lights besides open window. Okay. No lights. Just the open window, keeping the tortoise for uh, comfort reasons. Okay. Wearing robes and mask. Yes. Here we go. Reading it carefully. Very good. Let me skip. Lots of skipping. Okay. Wait, why are we seeing pink book? No, I think I have to finish on yellow, someone said. All right. You all keep giving me mixed information. <laughs> all right, finishing yellow. Four! Here we go. Very good. Chat, stop misleading him. I know, I keep asking for help, and instead of giving help, people are uh, people are being Thank sassy. You. Okay, okay, S tier. Okay, chill. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna skip you. All right, so the last one. I think it's the last one? Yeah, yeah, it's just the yellow sign now, right? Only visible. Okay, expose the yellow sign. Witnessing performing the play. King in yellow. King Court Carcosa. Obsession. Got it. So it's just draw the sign now. Oh. Wait, was that it? <laughs> That's the sign. Did I miss something? Light the black fire candles. Dim the lights. Window open. Candles are lit. If you want them on, oh, you want them on blue. Okay. Yellow sign. Become my slave, my <laughs> eternal captive audience. No. Tell me, dearest. Yeah. Your devotion to me faltered today, did it not? Sure did. I cannot fathom how someone as common as my <laughs> sister could have led you astray it sucks to be you i guess fam maybe you're not as high up on that pedestal as you keep putting yourself <laughs> maybe, maybe you're not maybe you're just in a booster seat <laughs> alas this is a problem of the past yeah true as you are now the fully devoted servant that i see fit to invite to my court okay all of the husks they're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes just like me all these people, why? Why? You're acting like you're staring at pure evil. True. I do not kill or maim humans personally, nor do I cause the reality-ending maelstroms your ex-girlfriend does. Okay. I do this because it's what I live for. 
It's what I am. Okay. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. Okay. Relationships. Yeah, I, yeah, gotcha. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them. And litter my court with them like gold dust. Gotcha. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Okay, because I want. I think we're gonna skip a couple of these. You would have been an incredibly powerful sir. Yeah. At least, all of my followers. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists. You see. But in okay, this here we reality, go. I've stolen away her most powerful. Yep, you stole away me. My thoughts are already becoming muddled. The dizzying, lurid glow of the yellow sign is sweeping me away. Perfect. All right, this is the new stuff. This is the new stuff. Soon. Lynetta will fade into obscurity. Less than a forgotten memory. She'll have never existed. Oh my goodness, you're gonna kill Lynetta? That's the ending we chose? This is the worst ending. There's no there's no words here. For this, I am ever so grateful. No. How to show my appreciation, I wonder. Not even smooches to me are worth it. Don't kill Lynetta. Uh, allow me to fulfill my end of our agreement. Two smooches as promised. Oh my gosh, this is not worth it. Close your eyes, dearest. I guess so, huh? Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm becoming a husk. Oh, no. Oh, that's not worth it. Oh, that was the worst ending. And she's killing Lynetta. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> we did it, though. We did all the endings and we unlocked the next campaign. I'm ex I'm stoked. I don't know how long the next campaign is going to be, but it's going to be really cool. I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> I've been having a really good time with these games, being able to stream with all of you. I've been having a great time. What a roller coaster indeed, Bray. I agree. My goodness. All right, should I should I tell all of you a secret that I've that I've had stashed up? Should I tell all of you a secret? Cuz it 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 might be pertinent. <laughs> When's the next stream? I don't know. I don't know. Because it might depend on when I finish the next video. I got stuff planned. I got stuff planned, but I do have a secret. I have a secret thing. I have a secret thing that I'm supposed to be releasing very, very soon. And if I release the secret thing very soon, then all of you will see it soon. And that secret thing is... I can't lean in on this screen. I can on, on the other one. Hang on a second. I'm going to go over to this one. The secret thing is... Jamie and I recorded a video. And I have to I have to get it all edited and readied up for the channel. But it always takes a million years to edit every collab video. So... I, I gotta like... I probably have to take a snack. And then I, and then I have to edit the video with Jamie and I. It's going to be amazing. It's a great video. It's really cool. And there's your secret. You stuck around to the end of the stream, so you get to hear the secret of what comes up next. <laughs> but, uh, so we recorded two videos in the same day. We recorded on video uh, for Jamie's channel first, and then my channel second. And I got to tell you, all of my best comments and commentary are going to be in Jamie's video. So you're going to have to keep an eye out for the video that drops on Jamie's channel too. I think it's not coming out for a couple more weeks or so because he's got a bunch of other content. But you'll see the one on mine first, which should be... I don't know. If I'm like really pushing myself, probably the next couple days would be good. Probably. Yeah. Oh, and I trimmed my beard. I don't know. I'm just distracted by that right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see my chin. And <laughs> my last beard was a little bit long. But yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks okay now. Looks all right. Anyways, yeah, that's my secret thing that I thought I'd tell all of you about uh, what I'm doing. Oh gosh, you know what? Before I end today, I should probably should probably be putting out a short. Oh, I'll do it after. Everybody, I've had so much fun with all of you today. Comment on all the things. <laughs> I know you did, Ray. I know I thought of that. That's why. That's probably why I was looking at it. All right, everybody. 
Uh, go comment pancake on every video you can. Go out there, watch yesterday's video, and tell me that you liked it. Find one good thing from that video and be like, OT, this was my favorite thing from that video. And I'll be like, oh, that's amazing. I love it too. <laughs> and because you stayed all the way to the end of the stream, you get a boop. You ready? All right. Thanks for staying, sticking around through the whole stream. Thanks for helping me through the game and getting all the secret endings and unlocking the next campaign. <laughs> all right. Get out of here.